Running years behind schedule and billions over budget, it is absolutely crucial for the Artemis One launch to be successful from liftoff to splashdown. Ken Kramer with Space Up Close told me if something goes wrong with this test flight, not only will it push back NASA's timeline for getting back to the moon, but it could very well jeopardize the future of the Artemis program. They're absolutely feeling the pressure and it has to go well. There's really very little margin for error. Just about everything has to go well. Um, you know, 99.9% .9 has to go right. They've got to launch, they've got to orbit the moon, they got to go beyond the moon and do one and a half loops and they'll come back and then they're going to test the Orion heat shield because it's coming back at about 25,000 miles an hour in versus 17,000 miles an hour. So the heat shield has to be beefed up and they got to recover that Orion capsule. So it's, it's bigger, better, stronger. It's the biggest heat shield that's ever been built uh, by humanity over 16 feet wide, wider than even the Mars rover heat shield from Perseverance and Curiosity on, on Mars. So anyway, they got to recover the uh, Orion capsule at the end. We got to get the astronauts home safe. There are mannequins aboard. Mm -hmm. And so, so that all has to be accomplished. It, it has to be, it just cannot fail. There is no room for failure here. So we got to launch, we got to orbit the moon and we've got to land that capsule and recover it. And they want to reuse some of the components inside the capsule. So we have to prove that capsule is safe for humans. They'll be doing radiation measurements with those, those mannequins among other things, because mm -hmm. it'll be, there's, there's very little radiation protection in outer space. So uh, we have to do that. So, you know, they're also launching CubeSats. If the CubeSats fail, that's not a big deal, but they're, they're very important for science but not critical to the success of the Artemis program. So pretty much everything has to go right. So there is a lot of pressure. It is years behind schedule and billions over budget, but that's to make sure it works because there's no margin for error here. If something goes wrong, how hurtful is that to the Artemis program? Hypothetically, could it end it perhaps? Yes, I think if it doesn't work out right, depending on what goes wrong, it could end it. I mean, if the if the rocket were to explode on the launch pad and we didn't get anything done, that would be really bad. Mm -hmm. They've done everything they possibly can do to make sure it works. Now, if in the final moments, uh, Orion something happens with it at the, at the very end, maybe you could, you could recover from that because they are building new Orion capsules. So, but but the rocket has to work, and if it doesn't work, then you know then the question can again becomes: Is there political? support and is there monetary support in, in the Congress. I know a lot of people like myself would want to continue, but we would have to analyze, you know, what exactly went wrong. Um, if most of it works and at the very end, just something minor goes wrong, not a big deal. But if something major goes wrong, then it would call into question the program. SpaceX has a competing program with their Starship. And that's actually what we need. We need the Starship from SpaceX. That's the human lander. Mm -hmm. So that still has to be built too. So that's also got to get proven out uh, beyond what anything happens with, with this Artemis program. NASA needs the SpaceX Starship to land on the moon because it'll carry the, the lunar lander. And by the way, launching the SLS moon rocket is expensive, like really expensive, to the tune of $4.1 billion per launch, which is double the original estimated cost. You can find my full interview with space expert Ken Kramer right now on clickorlando.com weekly.